lot of fun. I think Stars and Stripes is going to save a lot of time on this, man. You guys normally do this by brush? By yeah, brush, by, by hand. How long does that normally take? Good wash, three hours. Yeah, three yeah. hours, man. Holy I think we can do this in like a half hour. Half hour. I mean, I can't even imagine like getting in all this stuff with a hand, with hand contact. That's a lot going on. I appreciate you guys letting this thing go a little bit for me. I know you don't normally keep it this way. It's never like this. <laughs> yeah, we got some actual dirt on this thing. I'll get to work on this thing and then we'll see you guys tomorrow. You want to come see the record? Come on, look at this thing. What do you think? Get a healthy clean your bottle. Question is, what do we got in here? Oh. But let's get on it. I'm gonna tackle the inside first. I got some new Milwaukee toys. This is an underhood light. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling that it'll work on the roof of this. Oh my god. <laughs> it works. So this is cool. So you can angle it. It's gonna be really helpful. So one thing I need in my interior shots is really good lighting. So this should really help. Look at the brightness in here. I mean this is gonna be great just for doing the work. Never mind filming. Wow. Minimal shadows too, because of the uh the width of the light bar. I literally just buy everything outright, even from people I distribute for. I wanna feel the pain of having spent the money so that I give real feedback. And I think this thing is a winner. I'm excited about this thing. All right, let's clean the inside of this. Wow, that makes such a big difference. Look how much light I have down here. This is insane. Got my heavy duty APC in here, straight up. I got these Prevo air compressor couplings, they're real nice. on this too. It's got a uh, Milwaukee uh, belt hook. This is the best vacuum I've ever gotten in my life. Let's see how it works on the inside. A little button right here. Look at this thing. have the brush attachment. Let's try that actually. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Oh, that's nice. So there's no need to wear this as a backpack when you're in the cab, I think. So like this button here. Yeah, this just kind of comes right off. And then this thing can just get thrown inside. I think that'll be a little easier. It's got this little, uh, <laughs> kind of cool. I wonder if that could be like, oh, maybe. Look at this cool swivel thing. This is an amazing piece. I love this. Thing. It might still be easier just to have a long hose and a normal like vacuum, but this is fun. I don't know. Hey. Oh man, I like it. I love to use my glass cleaner for spots like this. grime here is gonna come off real nice. So I've just got my inexpensive edgeless microfiber rag. Stuff's gonna come in real handy for this. And this stuff like leaves a lot of oil on the glass, so like you wanna spray the rag if you can. I use this stuff before I clean the glass because any overspray of it that gets on the glass is gonna look really schmeary. Not gonna look good. 
I like to use the brush with this stuff because it kind of froths it up a little bit and it gets into the grain of the vinyls and leathers and whatnot. It's just a nice, soft, gentle brush to uh, get in the seams and all the little spots that a rag can have a hard time reaching. A little better. the green tea scent. I think they're gonna like this one because everyone seems to like this one. Be nice and fresh. Oh wow. We got magic eraser and then we got this like other material. Just to see what we can do. The outside clean. You cleaning this thing up for me, Kona? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Help me out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna soak this up with a little bit of the heavy duty, just straight up undiluted. I, I like to use it strong, but I'm gonna scrape off some of this so that it doesn't get all over my wash bay. I might just pre-soak some of this stuff, just a, a couple spots where heavy duty can help break down the heavier grease ahead of time, you know? We got some, some greases up here, some greases over here, some greases over here. Yeah, I'll just give it that little extra pop. I'm just gonna soak it on there and, and I'll rinse it off along with the, the Stars and Stripes wash. Oh yeah. It's gonna make that green pop. Oh, that green under there is gonna be so nice. I can't wait to see this thing clean. Grease running off. Get it. Oh. All right. That's enough of this stuff. All right. Let's get this measurement. We're gonna do a scientific survey of how much soap it takes.
forgot to set the timer. See if we can figure this out later on. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out how to edit that. All right, watch out, Kona. We're going in for another round. <laughs> minutes 36 minutes plus plus like four minutes maybe because I forgot to set the timer off so I'll have to look at the actual footage and in the edit and see how long it really was but around 40 minutes so it took about 10 minutes longer than I wanted but I did take my time because I wanted to do a halfway decent job there's a lot of stuff to aim at on this don't surprise it's like washing a crane and I think it took me just a few minutes longer to wash a Terex crane. Look at the paint on this thing. This is a really cool wrecker. Let's take a close up look at some spots where I think I could have done a little better. So this was interesting. So somehow, somehow I forgot to spray heavy duty on that one, but I got these ones. So look at the difference. You can see how much more grease there is still on that one with just the stars and stripes versus pre-soaking with the heavy duty. Heavy duty does a lot to loosen stuff up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch up that spot because I can't leave it like that. This thing's gonna be holding up the flag on, on next weekend at a car show. So I want it to be specifically these areas looking good. So we'll get all that tuned up. This came out great though. Look at all this little heavy duty pre-soak. Got all that grease off of there. Looking fantabulous. a little better but yeah this thing looks pretty good my floor looks like a mess but I'll tell you what the this thing cleaned up nice look at these rims Woo! so this will be fun to see 100% dry because black is a tough color to do without contact but can you imagine these guys that are out here hand washing this thing they said it takes them like three hours I can't even imagine boy look at this paint though what a what a cool it's got that pearlescent thing going on I love it I didn't even realize. I'm grateful that they let it go for me so that I could get uh, some actual value in on this video and what we can get done, but I didn't even realize how nice this truck was until, uh, until just now. All right, well, with the heavy lifting done, let's get, let's get some snake oil onto this thing so that it'll be all hydrophobic, you know? And it'll be easier for me to dry it off so we can see what we got. Wow, used a ton of soap. <laughs> Well, at this rate, you'd only get four washes out of a set of gallons. That's like an inch and three quarters worth of soap. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so 
I don't know, maybe I went on a little heavy. All right, I'm gonna hook up my snake oil in place of one of these here. Hang on, let me just lift off this cap. I'll bring over my snake oil and just plug it in right here. And that way I won't have to use the other machine back there. I, just, I wanna use this boom again, cause this is convenient. So let's hook that up and we'll rock and roll. Let's see how much of this we use. Probably be about the same. We'll see. All right, here we go. That's exactly the same amount of soap. Well, I guess I guess it takes a lot of soap to wash down a wrecker. It's a very similar experience to washing the Terex crane, I gotta say. So I guess you could expect about five washes out of, on this out of a set of gallons of pretty much anything I got. Snake oil, stars and stripes. Heck, it's a big time saver. Probably into this thing for about an hour. Not bad. All right, let's see what we got. The rubber's still got some junk on it. I could have hit it harder, but we won't worry about that. It'll be a nice shortcut. We got no more time. thing cleaned up real good. No, man. yeah. Wow. This paint is something else, man. That's our signature. That's our signature. The only thing that's not done in-house on this truck is the signs that okay. are done on this truck. All the lettering on this truck yeah. is the only thing that was not done in-house. Wow. It's a testimony to what you guys do then.